What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Quicksand tapping in for episode 85 of Mindset Monday. Stay tapped in because in today's episode, I'm going to break down three quotes from three different NBA legends that you're not going to want to miss. So stay tapped in. If you like this video and want to see more, I have a playlist up above of 84 other mindset videos for you to tap into. So go and check those out. But for now, drop a like and comment on this video, subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss another drop. And as always, if you find any type of value within the context of this video, share it with someone who you know can benefit. Tap in. Tap in. The first quote that I have for you is from the late, great, legendary Kobe Bryant when he said, The most important thing is to try and inspire people so they can be great at whatever they want to do. And these words from Kobe highlight the significance of inspiring and uplifting other people. So when you look at his legacy as a whole, you'll see right away that his greatness extended far beyond the basketball court. He was helping to inspire people to be the best that they can be in any field, whether they're athletes, doctors, lawyers, directors, musicians, authors, whatever it is, he was out there to give game and advice to anyone. And that's the Mamba mentality. And for me, Quicksand Mindset, my brand, is a direct inspiration from the Mamba mentality. I started off as Quicksand Hoops, where I would only post basketball content, but deep in my mind and in my heart, I knew that I can give and provide a lot more. And so when Kobe passed, I created Quicksand Mindset, direct inspiration. And now I'm posting daily inspirational videos on Instagram and TikTok. And then I have this platform here with Mindset Mondays here on YouTube. And I feel like I'm in a great spot where I'm helping as many people as I can to, to be great and to be the best that they can be. And so his quote, is pretty much a reminder for you to help other people around you to strive to be great and to be the best that they can be. The second quote that I have for you is from the legendary Michael Jordan when he said, I've missed over 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to shoot the game winning shot and missed. I've lost over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. This quote from Jordan is powerful because it emphasizes the importance of embracing failure. You have to view failure as a stepping stone to success. Every level that you reach, every stone, there's a lesson to be learned. And after you learn that lesson, you can proceed to the next step and continue to rise up in the ranks of your life and through that experience you can teach uplift and inspire people what you learn along the way especially if you're you've got to a new level and then you learn some lessons there you fail and then you drop back down when you drop back down you're gonna have to have some resilience and determination to get yourself right back to where you just fell from and so that's another lesson that you can learn and teach and so his quote is just a reminder that failure is not the end, but it's a necessary part of your journey to being great. The third quote that I have for you is from the legendary or soon to be legendary LeBron James when he said, there's a lot of pressure on me, but I don't put a lot of pressure on myself. I feel if I play my game, it'll all take care of itself. This quote from LeBron sheds light on his mindset when it comes to dealing with pressure because he understands that if he brings his best every single time he gets out there, there's no true pressure that's being put on him because he knows that it's him versus him, you versus you, LeBron versus LeBron. And no matter what anyone else says or tries to do to him, if he's locked in and focused on his goals and his task at hand, then he can't be pushed off of his, his lane. He's going to remain exactly where he wants to be because he's confident and he's put in the reps over the last 20 plus years, being the most hyped phenom to come out of high school and continue to have the pressure 20 years into his career 
and he's still doing great things. It's madness. It's almost unrealistic that he's still at this level and being top five in the league. And it's a testament to the work that he's put in and the confidence that he has in himself and his teammates because he's unselfish, sometimes to a fault. Sometimes you overpasses. I love the LeBron where he's driving to the rim, gets layups and ones, sets up his teammates, hits shots when he needs to, and is involved in every aspect of the game, as opposed to the LeBron who goes into the game very passive, doesn't pick things up until the second half, tries to shoot jump shots to you know get his back into the lead. And you know all the bad stuff, right? No matter what happens, he doesn't care about what we think. He cares about what, how he carries himself and how great of a teammate he is. And he's proven that over his career. And that's a wrap for this video. Thank you all for watching. I truly appreciate you all. If you made it this far, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see more, I have a playlist up above of 84 other mindset videos for you to tap into. And for daily inspirational videos, I post on Instagram and TikTok at Quicksand Mindset. You can find me there. So tap in with me. I will see you all in the next episode. Tap out.